distance away. <laughs> I want to be too close to you guys because I am going to be sharing with you a bunch of homewares from H&M Home that you would have just seen in the clips prior that I did a little bit of a shop at H&M in Chadston here in Melbourne and I love homewares. Of course, this channel is largely lifestyle and home kind of decorating based and H&M Home, unfortunately, you can't shop online. So it's one of those things that it's really great to just go in every now and then and check it out in store. I do wish we had more of the range here in Australia because I do feel like we're probably missing what the other countries get, but I managed to grab some absolutely amazing things. They also had some really cute Christmas decorations and to be fair, if I had more of a budget, I would probably have bought so many more things in store, but I've kept quite conservative because I did have a particular area in mind that I wanted to decorate. So thought I would just show you guys what I got in my haul because I've got this big, big bag sitting next to me on the floor here. So thought it would be fun if we go through that together and then I can style it up and we can show that area of my house as well. So just a quick reminder, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every single week. Now let's go into this bag and I'll try and have some sort of order to how I pull things out, but they're pretty cohesive items to be honest and very, um, matching in with the kind of scheme and theme of my house. And if you haven't got from my outfit, I am definitely trying to wear less black. So I am also trying to make my homewares a little bit more neutral and kind of warmer toned and things as well. So a couple of these were fragile items, so they've all been wrapped up, but this one probably has to be one of my favorite finds. And I did think it was a really good price considering how much these would be if you got them elsewhere. So it is this little half face vase. So as you can see, it's quite deep and open in there. And this is the back side of it. And then that's roughly the bottom. So this one, it's, they don't say the names of the items on them, unfortunately, but this was $39. So I'm aiming to put some of my pothos in here. I've got a little, um, parlor palm that's sitting up on my bench and every single foster cat I've had has literally ripped it to shreds. They were either digging in it or eating it and it just needs to go because I'm definitely intending to keep fostering kitties for a little while. So thought I would get a beautiful new pot that I can just put some of my devil's ivy in and chuck that up on the table in a place that will look really nice styled up. They also had a number of other vases in like a lot of neutral kind of tones and things as well and so many different shapes and sizes. So that's something you're looking for. I would definitely recommend popping into store. Ah yes, I remember what this is. Another really great homewares item and something I'll never feel guilty about buying is candles because I always have candles on and burning in my home. So this one was called dry hay and it says fresh and clean grass perfectly complements the dry aroma creating serenity and ambiance. And this is their premium scented candle batch. And I just thought not only does this look really beautiful, but it's just in this really simplistic glass based kind of jar. And I just thought that would look really nice styled up next to this vase. So thought I would get that. And yes, it smells amazing as well. So I really can't wait to light that one and use it because I've actually gone through quite a lot of mine lately and I was wanting to get some Christmas scented ones, but unfortunately they didn't have any like that in store. They I had um, like a ginger scented one, I think, but yeah, I want like Christmas cookies and like gingerbread and all of that kind of festive stuff. So I might have to keep shopping around for those. The next thing I got, also fragile and wrapped in paper, <laughs> is 
this gorgeous little seashell dish and I just thought this was so lovely whether it be a jewelry dish or for keys or something but often when I come home from work the first thing I'll do is like take off all my jewelry and my watches and things like that so I thought it'd be really nice to have a little place to pop them and this was only five dollars so I was going to make something similar like this myself with my clay kit and I still might do that because I could definitely use this as the inspiration for it but I just thought it was lovely and I think this came in two sizes as well so this is the smaller of the two. The next thing that I grabbed was some little table napkins because I do really want to be able to host people when they come over and to do it really nicely and these really match in with the existing beigey tones of my dinnerware so this is a two pack they are organic napkins and I just thought they were really nice the way that they were kind of tied up like this so originally when I picked these up I didn't realize it was a two pack but once I did and realized they were only ten dollars I thought I would grab two because then I have four and I've got four seats at my dining table so that way I can wrap these up really nicely if I have anyone over for the festive season something else I've been wanting forever and this is kind of like a, a bit of an Instagrammy item because I wanted it for my flat lay photos over on my Instagram which if you don't follow me please go and jump over there because I do post daily so it's a little bit more of an update than what you might get from me here on YouTube sometimes but it is this mug and it is absolutely enormous I would say this almost feels like a soup cup or something but it just says take your time and I really really love this because I'm definitely all about that slow living vibe and slow mornings and I just think it's a really a beautiful little cup and something that I can add to my ever-growing teacup collection because I would love to have a bunch of different coffee cups and sort of have that be a little bit of an eclectic part of my house because I definitely do have a lot of matching things but I think it's also nice to just bring a little bit of character into your space and really celebrate some of those odds and ends kind of decor items so absolutely love this they do have a couple of other designs as well but I just thought this one was really lovely and I, I like the um gold edging around it as well the last thing that I picked up is this and it's just a little gold basket and I thought I could use this to put the napkins in and maybe just like some lemons and things that I might have over on my bench as well because I usually have that kind of stuff but I don't have a fruit basket or anything to put it in because I used to have one on the table there and I got rid of it because I just thought it looked really messy. So that is what I've got to pop all of these items in and now we can head over there and style some of them up because I thought it might be really nice to just put them in my space straight away and really kind of clean up that disused area of my dining table. This is the pot filled up with the Devil's Ivy offshoot and I absolutely love it. I think it looks so great and just a real upgrade from what was there previously. So very, very happy with that and it's just going to look even better once they start all growing out. There is five offcuts in there in total and I will definitely have to remove some over time just because of the roots taking up more room. But for now, I think it looks really good. The next item I want to place here will be the gold basket. So I think it might just end up getting popped next to that. And then I've got the packet of napkins as well. But before I do that, I might just fill it up with some fruit. That is looking really cute now. So I think I will also add this candle, which I will definitely be lighting most evenings. So we'll just take out this little inner. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell through the camera sometimes. The last little thing I want to pop over here is the seashell dish. So I might just go ahead and place that here. And I've got my Daniel Wellington watch and bangle. And because I'm not heading out today, I can place those in the bowl. And they'll be there ready for me when I am going to leave the house.
just come in the visit that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on a little shopping trip and h&m haul with me hope this has inspired you guys to decorate up a couple of little areas of your home and particularly this festive season i think it is nice to just kind of refresh your home before we get into the new year and it doesn't always have to be christmas decor it can just be some really beautiful pieces for your home that are going to set the theme and change up the way that you're using your space as well so that you can kind of celebrate a bunch of those little moments so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.